Hey, welcome to this Windows and Computer channel, and this is a quick look at the new build, the Insider Preview build, 18908 for 20H1, that's the version of Windows for early next year, not even later this year. And of course, uh, that was released yesterday, May 29th, 2019. Okay, so what is happening with this build? First, my installed experience, which was kind of crappy yesterday, trying to update this build at least at four or five different times and got an error message. It actually was searching from Windows Update for like 20 minutes at a time. It would end up giving me an error code. Now, I did this and tried different things and restarting and all of that several times. And after my patience ran out, I decided that, okay, we'll keep it for tomorrow. So this morning, I have a couple of solutions, including a registry fix for that type of error message. And I'm thinking, well, I'm going to use that. Well, I turned on the PC this morning. Everything's fine. It's like nothing ever happened. So I suspect that maybe one of the problems was that maybe at Microsoft, the insider team, there was something at the server side of things and it couldn't find the build correctly. So this morning was okay. So maybe they tweaked something and uh, at least I'm on 18.908. Okay, what else did happen? Okay, well, first, if you're wondering if there's new features, yes, your phone app is updated with tons of features. Unfortunately, most of them that I can't show here because I don't have a compatible Bluetooth device. I uh, tried my Bluetooth 4.0 dongle. It, uh, it apparently isn't a low-power device, so it can't uh, do the screen mirroring, which is kind of sad. So I'm going to try to find myself a, a compatible Bluetooth device because I want to really try that out. So most of the uh, new features are on your phone. I'm going to at least go through them even though I can't really show you that much. The uh, first thing that happened also after about an hour of use, I got a green screen of death uh, with uh, win32k.sys file giving me a uh, problem. And of course, um, I don't didn't have green screens very often on this machine. Now, I did install that uh, Bluetooth dongle. I did install also the uh, headset for the audio for the video so I'm wondering if maybe I just you know did one too many installs and, and of course the Bluetooth dongle like plugged in and unplugged like a million times trying some of the new features including the smart unlock that uh, is possible to actually give you it gives you the possibility to unlock your phone from your Windows PC when it's actually within range of the Bluetooth device so all of that that I tweaked also um, the main features that are new in this are the features of your phone experience. So here you see, you can uh, see your phone screen, notifications, messages, photos. Now I activated notifications so that I could see the notification stuff. I uh, of course have text messages and MMS that did work also, which is also pretty good. And of course I've got my phone experience here with uh, the uh, computer that works well. I can actually uh, see the pictures from my phone, the latest pictures I took. So actually, uh, it is working, um, except for the fact that I can't um, preview my phone screen. My Bluetooth dongle isn't compatible, and that's where all of the features, or most of them, are available in this new build. So your phone app now introduces phone screen accessibility features, uh, keyboard language and layout, you have your, uh, if you're using uh, the um, narrator, it can actually read the screen of your phone. You can also narrow down the focus tracking, which makes you uh, see or have a, a better way of seeing what's on your phone through your PC. And of course, it now supports additional uh, models of uh, phones, including older Samsung Galaxy phones. And that's pretty much it. It's really all in the your phone experience that there's the new stuff happening. But uh, unfortunately, I need to find a compatible Bluetooth device to have it working. Uh, for the rest, except for that green screen, which maybe is kind of because I installed too many things, uh, you know, kind of quickly, 
since then, it's pretty stable. I had no problems, so it seems to be working well. And uh, we're moving ahead. I mean, you know, this is 20H1. We're still waiting for 19H2 builds. Wonder what's going to happen with that. But uh, we are moving ahead in the sphere of Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and uh, hope you enjoy this very quick look at this build. 19, uh, 18, 908 that was released for Fast Ring Insiders.